This conference will now be recorded. So good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Cantic webinar series. Today's topic uh, is on the Intevo. Um, the Intevo second generation to be specific. Um, today we're going to talk about the Intevo as a product overall, how it works, the benefits of the Intevo, and, and how you should maybe sell it a bit on the technical slash sales side. And if you look uh, further down the webinar list, um, there's going to be other courses on the Intevo, slightly more technical, uh, how to migrate. A lot of, we sold a ton of Intevo ones out there, right? So um, now we're going to explain to you guys how to migrate from Intevo 1s or other products into an Intevo 2 uh, uh, system, right? If you have any questions, gentlemen, please ask them or ladies, ask them at the end of the course in the chat. Uh, I'll definitely answer all your questions. All right. So the Intevo uh, all-in-one uh, platform, the Intevo Gen 2, is a, a completely redesigned hardware platform from the ground up, right? We 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 launched the Gen One maybe four or five years ago, whatever it was, uh, huge success, but it had some you know improvements, and we took those improvements and we added them into the Intevo Gen Two. So whatever you guys want in it, and we'll show you in the list in a few minutes, all these things were actually done for you guys and our customers because. It's not just a faster, better box. Faster and better doesn't sell itself. It's it has more features, and we've improved on the stuff that we're missing. All right. So the Intevo is an all-in-one. If you don't know what this the Intevo is, it's an all-in-one box that has your access control, your web, your intrusion control, and your exact vision control under one platform. So yes, you manage your EntrePass and Exact Vision into one, and from there we can manage our DSC products. There are two types of Intevos: the Intevo Compact and the Intevo Advanced. Uh, the Intevo Compact is a little small unit, big as the, a portable hard drive, let's say, and the Intevo Advanced is a, a slightly bigger, you can see on the picture there, a unit. Uh, personally, the Intevo Compact is really fast. It, compared to the first generation, uh, many, many times over faster. I think it's a 30, 40% faster, right? The Intevo Advanced also uh, much faster uh, than the first one and for really heavy performance for cameras and, and usage, very powerful. Let's look at the back itself, right? It is a box, the front is cool and pretty, but let's look in the back a bit. The Intevo Compact and the Intevo Advanced come with PoE ports now. So they have four PoE ports for the Intevo Compact, whereas the Intevo Advanced has uh, um, eight PoE ports. Now these PoE ports have a DHCP server on them. What does that mean? You can now deploy your cameras and if you had controllers like a KT400, plug and play, no routers required. You plug in the KT400, local power obviously for the KT400, and then off you go with DHCP. Same thing with the KT1, just prepare yourself to have a local power if required, right? Uh, they have dual screen output, depending on the model, it's VGA or HDMI and DisplayPort. For example, the Advanced has HDMI and DisplayPort, no more analog. Nobody uses VGA as much anymore. If you want, we have a DisplayPort adapter, you buy a DisplayPort cable, which all new monitors come with one anyways, and you're done, right? much faster, cleaner, and you have a bunch of USBs, more than you'll ever need. And if you guys don't know this, the blue USBs are USB 3 um, speed, so they're much faster than the black ones. It's actually done on purpose for all computers. And the power itself, a lot of you guys complained that the power would fall off. One of the things we changed was now the power is a little screw on. It's the same power adapter, similar, but now you screw it on like a, like a nut, and the power supply stays on the Intevo. So somebody kicks it while well, they're not going to uh, unpower the Intevo. The Intevo Compact uh, has a new processor. It's an Intel J1900 with uh, a 128 gig solid state drive for Windows. So one of the huge advantages compared to Intevo Gen 1, which you guys told us, 
the Intel Compact One is a bit slow. So uh, we put a better processor, yes, but we also put a 128 gig solid state drive. If you guys don't know what solid state drives are, those are basically hard drives that uh, uh, have USB equivalent, let's say. So the benefit is that there's no moving parts anymore. Your read and your write speeds are incredibly fast. And we also put a two terabyte hard drive in there. Now we didn't put a, uh, a green labeled hard drive that's uh, made for you know residential purposes, the ones you go buy at a box store. This is an audio visual quality hard drive, right? So it's a Seagate uh, audio visual quality hard drive that gives you it's made for uh, video recording. Four PoE ports. The max PoE output for the Intevo Compact is 30 watts. So if you calculate that um, per, per port, so per port is 30 watts, but a total PoE output for the entire box is 60 watts. We're talking just PoE. This is if you power up the Intevo fully with all the USBs and everything. It's, it doesn't matter what you do, the PoE is 60 watts. So in theory, you have 15 watts per port. But if you're only using two of them, you can do 30 watts, which is, which is PoE+. plus. The OS, we changed the OS to Windows 10. So it is a fully functional Windows 10 uh, OS. We'll talk about that in a few minutes on the improvements. Now, the advanced, um, it's an i5 fifth generation processor. Now you're like, okay, we're at the ninth one. But yeah, it's fine. But when this came out, uh, and it's still very powerful, the fifth generation i5 processors are really, really uh, fast. You usually don't get that kind of speed when you buy a brand new computer. Some you do, some you don't, depending on what you have. Uh, we have a 128 gig solid state drive also, uh, and a four terabyte hard drive. Again, it's a audio visual quality hard drive. Uh, eight PoE ports. And the same concept, 15 watts per port uh, uh, if it's all loaded up for a maximum of 120 watts. You can do 30 watts if you want, but you can use all eight of them at the same time. All right, pretty cool stuff. The RAM is a uh, four gigs, so we brought up the RAM to DDR4, which is the newest one. Um, the everything changed: the hard drives, the video, the video cards, all that stuff changed. New, new everything, and obviously new part numbers because now it's an ADV 4TB. Uh, this is where the muscles show, right? A little funny thing here, the Intevo Advanced, uh, the muscles for it. Um, the Intevo Advanced has a 275 megabits uh, throughput, inbound. The whole box is 410, that's inbound and outbound. But when you're doing video, and most of you guys know a lot better than me, but when you're doing video, what really counts is your inbound throughput. So a whopping 275 megabit throughput. Uh, we built you two scenarios, just to give you an example, uh, as a baseline, let's say. You can do 32 cameras at 1080p at 30 frames per second, uh, or you can do 64 cameras uh, at 1080p at 15 frames per second. Now, using the calculators, you can figure out how many cameras, if you want to do two megapixel, four megapixel, and so on, but it's a nice little baseline. The Intevo Compact um, is a 16 megapixel, uh, sorry, uh, 16 cameras at 1080p, 30 frames also. It has a whopping 144 megabits. So for the Compact, it's a smaller unit, but it has a lot more horsepower compared to the Intevo Gen 1 Compact, which had, I think, I think I forget, 30 me megabits, 30. Now we're in the uh, 140s and plus, right? So a lot of horsepower into this uh, Intevo Advanced and uh, Compact. Hope you guys are excited about this. I think it's a really fast unit. And the video output, and we start using them at trade shows, the video output on these screens are, are really good. If you have a 4K monitor, it makes a really nice image output. So let's talk about stuff that makes a difference, right? Um, we still have, if you're, not, if you're not aware, we still have the entry page when you get it in. So you start it up, you have the initial registration page, it auto installs everything for you. There's no more clicking next, next, type, type serial numbers, no. Everything auto installs for you, right? Like the first generation. 
but it's a lot faster. So it takes about a minute or two, you're done. So you answer the nice email questions and you're done. But what it does further, now it's always up to date. You told us when you buy a unit, it may come with a slightly older version of VenturePass in Tevo Gen 1. We fixed that. In Tevo Gen 2, when you power it up, it will go and check automatically the Cantec, we'll call this Cloud, or so Cantec website, and check if there's a new version available of EntrePass. And it will download it for you if you wish. It will ask you, and you download it. And then you simply update it like you normally would. So it, you already have EntrePass already running, already registered. It's ready for you to work. You could do your programming, and then you could download on the side the, the newest version and simply do uh, a short update for it. So out of the box, you have up to five days to automatically do the update automatically for you. After five days, you just download it yourself manually. But the benefit is that you're not left with an older version, and if you forget, we'll remind you to update. Something else we've added, Windows updates. We heard you loud and clear. We want Windows updates. So we now allow you to do all the Windows updates for and the Intevo Gen 2. So you basically go to the Windows updater and it does the updates for you. It's even going to remind you there's updates that have to be done. So what's the benefit here? You always take current with EntrePass upon opening a box, right? So you open the box, you stay current, update your software automatically, and you always get your Windows uh, uh, updates done. So this way you're always secure, more like with Microsoft standards, obviously, and all the patches are applied on your computer uh, as Microsoft releases them automatically. Furthermore, you ask for more security. So we now have, uh, first of all, we did two things on this one, or a few things. We actually added the antivirus support. So we now support antiviruses, right? Uh, by default, we give you Windows Defender, which comes with Windows. Windows Defender is active and hardened uh, for the Intevo. If you want to use something else, you're more than welcome to use uh, antiviruses of your choice. We didn't try them all. We've tried Symantec and Windows Defender. If you want to use any other antivirus, like everything else in the world, you can install it and configure it. But we support it. We want to make sure we don't have any problems with the Intevo 1. We want people to be able to put them on their corporate networks. We've increased all the firmware, so the box comes out with this. If you guys don't remember, there was an Intel issue with uh, the, the BIOS of the motherboard and the processor. It was called Meltdown Inspector. We did all the hardware updates, all the firmware updates that Intel provided us at that time to make sure there's no issues for it. So we keep your windows safe uh, and protected. The firewall is on, the antivirus is on, is hardened this way you're safe and if you want to add your own more than welcome tech support will never deny you support because you add an antivirus and you can't add a card right obviously you have to make some exceptions if you go uh, too hard we'll have to adjust the firewall for that now those are huge changes but what we've also done is we can now uh, uh, the usb3 can be used for external storage Whereas the Intevo Advanced and Compact with, come respectively with two terabytes and four terabytes of storage, there's not enough storage if you're actually adding 32 cameras or 64 cameras or whatever ratio of cameras you want based on uh, megapixels and everything. So we allow you now to have through the USB ports, remember the blue ports I was telling you about, we can now have an external storage uh, with an external you know, storage device to actually use those for recording also. We support, and we have a document we can send you if ever needed, we support that we've tested the Seagate uh, Trailhawk, which is the uh, highest rated one for audiovisual drives, right? Uh, it's an external drive, put external power supply for it, and now you can have your uh, storage if you want. We are only limited in the amount of storage as Windows supports. So obviously the more storage you put, the more you can. Realistically, you're not gonna put uh, 100 terabytes on this. You put a few terabytes and it'll be done. 
the PoE. So the Intevo Advanced and Compact come with PoE on the uh, in, uh, on the Intevo, but also come with DHCP on them. So you can plug in your KT400 uh, and it will grab an IP address. So putting in static mode, getting the static IP address, opening up browsers, none of that stuff. You just plug in the controller where it says controllers. You power up the controller, right? You ground everything like you're supposed to. And in EntraPass, they will auto see each other. You just got to fill in the blanks like you normally would programming controller. Makes your life a lot easier for this. Now, the PoE and DHCP, well, the DHCP part is only for the PoE ports, right? If it's not for the network ports, because that would be very bad for your corporate network if they had DHCP also. So what do you get with an Intevo? The Intevo comes standard out of the box. Imagine you never plugged it in ever on the internet. It comes with exact start edition. It does come with one camera license. So you can hook up one camera of any choice if you want. And it does come with Entropass Corporate Edition, which comes with two remote workstations and one concurrent web connection. So you can use your mobile and your web at the same time. At one, at one at time, I mean. And you can use also two remote workstations uh, plus the one on the server. So the Intevo itself has a workstation, but you can have two more if you ever need it. Now, if you plug it on the internet, or if you don't have internet, but you have, you know, a cool BlackBerry or Android or just an iPhone, uh, you can go to cantech.com, right? Log in with your super secure login, and then register your Intevo. Once you register the Intevo, all we need is your email and your MAC address. We will give you three additional camera licenses for the Intevo Advanced. So that makes a whopping four camera licenses for the Intevo Advanced and one additional for the Compact. Simply by registering it, you get four total camera licenses on the Intevo Advanced and one on the Compact. And I'd say twice because you guys are shocked, right? And regardless of the Intevo, you get three years of SSA on the entire box. So three years of software agreement on the entire Intevo. That includes EntraPass and inclu includes Exact Vision. So for the next three years after you buy it and you register it, you'll be able to upgrade your EntraPass and your Exact Vision at no extra tokens or SSAs. You go as an installer, you download the software as an installer, and you register and update your customers as they go along. I think that's a pretty good add-on, guys. Just simply by putting your email, which we already have anyways, which is the MAC address, and it will give you all that information. Boom. So why the Intevel? Right? Why can't I just go to a store and buy a box, right? Somewhere. Because it has a step-by-step -step wizard. With the wizard I was telling you at the beginning, you answer some marketing questions and you agree that Cantic is the best and whatever. And boop, the software is installed and ready for you to go. If the Antropass comes pre-installed and configured, huge difference compared to others out there. This actually comes with the software installed, no license required, no next, next, next. It's already included and registered. So as fast as you can type, the, the Intevo reboots and maybe in four minutes, five minutes, you're up and running, right? It's, and it's made for this. Exact Vision is also pre-installed and pre-configured as exact start until as you register it. And also the Entropaz web is made for you to go on a local network. So if you have Entropaz web, you don't have to fight with IIS. You don't have to fight with all the IT policies. It works because it's pre-installed, pre-configured at the factory during, during fabrication, right? It's specifically made for our needs. It's not a very cheap computer that's going to break in half a, a, half a day. Uh, also, there's an operator dashboard. So once you as an installer are done, you give them the operator dashboard uh, uh, interface. Well, guess what? They can't install anything. They can't go and install uh, video games or 
or Angry Birds or whatever on their on their thing. The dashboard is locked as a user, and it only lets you run the four or five icons you have access to, and you get to see what's going on as an interval, right? The admin can do whatever you want, but the operator view is made as a interface for the uh, customer to work. And if you have DAC integration with the KT400 and the KT1, it all comes together. So we can integrate who can arm and disarm based on the KT400 and KT1. So uh, Gabe, I saw your question and Thomas, we'll talk about it after. Um, so the Intevil, you deploy what you need whenever you want. Everything's pre-installed. It's tailored for your needs, right? You just buy the box, you buy the hardware, and you're done. Don't worry about anything else, right? And it won't slow down after so many doors because it is one powerful box, obviously, but also a lot of the hardware decisions are made on the KT1 or KT400. Talk, let's talk about cameras now. I think... Uh, um, now, uh, great question. We'll talk about camera licenses. A lot of camera licenses are questions. I like this. What cameras do we support? Well, we support whatever exact vision supports. Uh, or after you registered your Intevil from start, it goes to Pro. Uh, uh, you automatically get all the cameras that are supported. If you go to Cantech.com and products at Intevil, you will have all the camera licenses there. You can simply register the cameras online, right? You go to camera, you go to cantech.com, support and registration, and you register. Some of the questions we have is, well, I have, a, I just bought my Intevo, I unboxed it, and then it's an exact start. How do I get to Pro? Very simple. You go to cantech.com, support, software registration, and you enter your Intevo MAC address. And then you enter your Cantec email that you have, and this will give you a license, which now is an exact pro. Uh, it gives you, depending on the model, two or four cameras total, and then it gives you three years of SSA. So your exact vision license, you're gonna get a license that you, you're gonna plug into exact vision, right? Where the system serial number belongs in exact vision, and this will give you everything you need. You don't pay for any of this. There's no licensing required. There's no purchasing. You enter the MAC address in your email, and it automatically gives you the proper number of licensing, right? One second. Yes, I apologize. It's, it's Intevil registration, not software registration. So you go to the Intevil button, and then you just follow the prompts. It's not hard. There's one button. Uh, and don't forget, this will give you an exact license that you plug into the exact vision. Once you do that, it auto-propagates everywhere. For your three-year cap uh, reminder, for your three-year cap in EntrePass, it does that also. All you have to do is configure a video server in EntrePass. So you get your license, you type it in, right? The big long number you get from exact vision. This unlocks the entire box. And then in the Cantic software, you go program an exact server and the whole box is now registered. Now, do you want more cameras? Of course. How does it work? Somebody asked a camera license. It's very simple. Uh, this is the big bold letters, right? Any Illustra camera that you purchase on the same PO with a camera license you get the camera license at 50% off or discount, right? Same thing. So I'm going to repeat it again, and I'm just reading it here to make sure you all get it. It's very powerful as a feature. If you order a camera, any any Illustra camera and a camera license, the Cantec part numbers, uh, on the same PO, you enter the promo code that's there in Tevo IP disk, and you get the camera license at 50% off discount. So if I have 50 cameras and I have an Intevo Advanced, I order 46 camera licenses because you already get four with the Intevo plus 
you have to buy the 46 remaining, which gives you 50, right? That pretty cool, sweet deal? So remember to add the promo code in Tevo IP disc and you get your camera licenses at 50% discount. It's not when you buy the Intevo, it's when you buy the camera and the camera license together. Now, um, how does it work? You can add more SSA. You want three years of SSA, you get them once you register them. Once you want more than three years of SSA, you simply buy another year or three years of SSA, right? You probably buy a one year SSA. Now, if you lapse your SSA, if you skip a year, you could also buy a retroactive SSA depending how many months or years you skipped. So you could skip six months a year, you simply get uh, the retroactive one which will let you update. And if you don't let it lapse, you just buy one more year if you want and it gives you one more year of SSA. Not on exact vision, not on answer pass, but the entire box. Right? The entire box gets one year of SSA. The SSA uh, is not counted on the number of doors. It's not counted on the number of cameras. It's not counted on the number of web or anything. You just buy an SSA um, and so on, right? You have to buy the, the SSA. The SSA is based on the year, the box itself. So it's a flat fee basically per year that you're going to buy. Now, I just want to clarify one thing. Maybe I misspoke. I just want to make sure it's very clear. When you buy an Illustra camera and you buy an Illustra uh, camera license, it has to be a Cantec uh, um, license that you buy from us. All right? So it has to be a Cantec Intevo dash cam dash whatever the part number is to get this promo code, right? And maybe Jason Hanner can explain it further if you guys want. Let me find you, Jason. Or you can unmute yourself if you want. Will I find you? All right. The camera, the camera license is an, is an Intevo IP cam 01. Exactly. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Rob. So you specifically yep. have to buy the Intevo cam. 01. I think we sell it in packs of other numbers, but same concept. And you got to put those two part numbers together on the same PO and we'll give you 50%. If you put somebody else's part numbers, it's not going to work. Okay. We do have rack mountable ears uh, for the Intevo Compact and Advanced. If you want to put there's that in a server rack, uh, you just buy the extra. Uh, rack mount ears, they call them, and it's rack mountable. Now, careful, both Intevos come with a, um, adapters on the bottom that you can screw somewhere if you want to screw this Intevo on a wall, because some people will put it flat on the wall or under a desk or whatever. That comes included. But if you want to put it in a server rack that so it takes like a, a space on the rack, you got to buy the rack mount ears. Optionally, you can buy a, a Cantec. A keyboard and a Cantec mouse. It's a it's a Intevo mouse, USB a wired mouse. All right. So before we open up for questions, you guys start writing your questions in here. Uh, I would like to thank you everybody for attending um, this webinar. A lot of people, good questions that I saw, and we'll answer them in a few minutes. Um, again, we'll see you guys Wednesday on the next topic, and we'll be don't forget we'll be changing to go to webinar for that one. Um, I'll have a screen up in case you forget, so don't worry about that. Uh, so you can pre-register for everything. Again, on uh, YouTube, uh, we have the video posted already for the first webinar, and this one will be posted shortly after. Thank you guys, and I hope to see you guys all Wednesday. Thank you, Tom.